So in this video, we're going to show you how to set up a mini mission for your CTAG mod. First, we're going to open up CDoc. And if this is your first time using CDoc, you're going to have to set up your serial port. The easiest way to figure out which serial port the SDoc actually uses is to unplug the SDoc from your computer, then start this program and check this list, and it'll show you whatever ones you currently have, like I always have this COM3. Then you close everything again and plug in the SDoc, install the drivers for it, make sure everything's good, and open up this list and you'll see a new serial port. So for me, that happens to be COM25. After you do that, you should be able to plug in your tag into the SDoc and connect to it, like just happened here. Then the key areas that you want to look at are this data field that shows you the tag serial number, software version, and information like that. Then there's the basic options where you can set the sampling rate. We're going to set our tag to sample the sensors every 10 minutes. And then we're going to set the user ID to 12345 or whatever you want to use. In this table, you're going to fill in all your Argos IDs. These are just a bunch of test IDs that don't actually work, but they're loaded in there just so we can uh, use them. Then you're going to set the Argos options. You're going to want to pick one of your IDs. We'll give it this one, ABCDEFF. We'll set the mission to archival. We'll set it to transmit every kind of packet it wants to transmit. We'll set it to transmit for one week after the trigger. And we're going to set the start to the 24th, the end to the 27th, and the time of release to 12 o'clock UTC. Those are all the key options you need to set to do an archival test mission. Then you can go ahead and click tag write settings. We'll write the settings to the tag, after which point you can verify all the settings. Write config succeeded. And then you want to go through and look at everything, make sure, okay, it's still set to 10 minutes, the Argos ID set, all the other information set. And then you're ready to toss your tag in your pool, and then wait until Monday, after which the tag will trigger. So this is an example of a, uh, a test mini mission in archival mode of the CTAG mod. And uh, what we did here is uh, uh, place two CTAG mods in a uh, container full of water. Think of it as a micro ocean. Uh, they are submerged in there, as you can see. And the container is a uh, dark blue color. I would recommend dark blue or dark green, a darker color like that, so that the reflectivity is similar to that of what it might experience when it is in the ocean. We know, for example, that you, if you put it in a white bucket, you will get many more transmission than is realistic in the ocean. At the same time, the water level should be too close to the top. Um, uh, again, you don't want to shield sunlight that's coming from the side. Actually, right now it's early morning, and in this bucket it's probably darker than it would be in the ocean uh, due to the, the walls of the bucket here. Um, they don't pass any light through, of course. Um, so that there are a couple of things to watch out for. Another one is that you should put the bucket some distance away from any steel objects, magnetic objects. Here you see a boat in the distance. It's about uh, 20 foot away. And that's okay still. Um, uh, you should keep boats and cars, you know, 20, 30 feet away. But also look out like if you have a fence like this, is there maybe any steel posts in there or something like that? Uh, you want to stay away from all that stuff as that will affect your magnetic readings and of course we use these along with the light measurements to determine the location of the tag and that's one of the things that you want to uh, measure in the or test in this archival test mission here. So we are not that far away yet from the uh, uh, scheduled release time. Let me look on my watch. It's now 6.57 in the morning and the first of the two tags should go at uh, 7 a.m. that's what I programmed it for. Um, I think it's this one here on the left from this perspective. And then five minutes later the one on the right. Um, there will be an uncertainty of about a minute um, as I wasn't all that precise with programming it. And there's also a uh, um, sleep interval of 16 seconds. So the tags only wake up once every 16 seconds to check the time. And so of course that introduces a little uncertainty as well. All right, so my cell phone now says 6.58. That is, a countdown is at two minutes.
oops, and the first one popped, I was wrong which one it was. Um, so we did reach ignition, you could hear the, the pop pretty good, so I guess it would startle a fish somewhat, but shouldn't be too much of a hazard. Uh, the second one is programmed to go off uh, five minutes later. And there we go. Uh, it jumped out of the frame. I could see it uh, jumped out of the water here entirely. Um, but, you know, there was almost a chance it would have left our micro ocean. Now, in a real ocean, I doubt it would jump out of the ocean. So, we should be okay. All right, so now we have two tags floating in the water right now. And of course, now that their data acquisition phase of the mission is completed, they are now going into the Argos transmission phase. And so, um, I will leave them here in the bucket uh, for, for a day. And um, as the sun illuminates them and they collect energy, uh, they should start transmitting it. And then, of course, I can look on the Argos website and see if I got the data. And that will complete the mission. Thereafter, of course, I should look at the data. And I recommend that you do that as well. Uh, see if the positions that are computed by the tag, that is really the light and magnetic measurements, if they resolve um, to a good approximation of your current position. If that's not the case, then take a look around once more. Make sure you are, say, not right next to a really big building, that shields a lot of light or has a big magnetic signature and that you don't have too much steel stuff. Here's a bicycle back there. Again, that's not a problem. Um, a fairly clean environment is what you're looking for with clear view of the sky, as might be the case in an ocean. Um, so, uh, with that done, you should be ready to then deploy your tags for an actual operation rather than your incoming inspection test. Have a good time with that. Please watch our other videos for information on how to actually process your logs.